All right, so welcome. This is our outdoor um, setting. This is our yep. outdoor exercise that we're going to do today. So in terms of what's going to happen today, it's going to be a case of warming up again. Yep. It's going to be the workout, it'll then be the cool down. Okay. So with the uh, uh, warm up, simple. I just want us to do effectively body movements, body weight exercises. Okay. So it's going to be a case of doing squats, arm circles, mm -hmm. uh, hip circles, a shoulder stretch, yep. half stretch, um, it'll be a chest stretch, yep. a quad, and then we'll do a PNF hamstring stretch okay. as well. Uh, I will explain what that is when we get there, um, but then that will be it for okay. now. Okay. So, with the body weight squats, we'll get you over here. Mm -hmm. So, with body weight, all, all simply want to do is just do um, 10, yep. all right? Nothing, nothing fancy. All I want to do is get, get your feet control width apart, engage the core. Here. I just want you to even have your arms out if you want. Yep. Uh, from here, just have it and just have it. Yeah. Don't worry about tempo. Literally just walk yourself up. Okay. Three. So if you can do ten of those for me, yep. that'd be great. So next one is arm circles. So with this, you just treat yourself like a windmill. Yep. You're just gonna go forward. You do ten of those. Okay. And then when you've done ten, I then want you to do uh, ten backwards. Okay. okay? Cool. Okay, so we'll look at um, doing a uh, chest as well as a calf stretch. Okay. Okay. Yep. So with the calf stretch, all I want to do is have one foot in front of the other. Yep. All right. But I want the fore leg to have a slight bend in the knee. And then the idea is you want to keep your back leg straight and really feel that calf muscle being stretched. Okay. All right. You will feel it when you feel that your back heel is actually really dug into the ground. You'll yep. really feel it. At the same time though, with the chest, what I then want you to do is have your arm back, mm -hmm. all right? And then I just want you to really try and bring that chest out. The whole point okay. then is that you're just gonna stretch the chest yep. at the same time you're doing the calf. I want you to hold that for 10, yep. and then when you've done that, swap your legs. Next one then will be shoulders. Okay. So with the shoulders, all I simply want you to do um, <laughs> with that is basically put this together yeah. and then I want this elbow pushed in towards, so you want to be, almost be bringing like your arm down. Okay. Bring that down and hold that to the side. <laughs> right. <laughs> you alright mate? And then swap that over for me. Yeah. <laughs> Nearly. Nearly. You've got an audience. I know. <laughs> That's good. <cool. laughs> uh, with the shoulders again, I'm yeah. um, just going to do one more stretch of them. So I just okay. want you to have one arm in front, mm -hmm. bring the other arm in line with your elbow, yeah. and I want you to try and pull the shoulders with you. Okay. So have a straight and then just pull.
Now I'm just going to do a PNF with the hamstring. Okay. Right, PNF hamstring. So with this, all I'm going to get you to do, I'll face the camera this way. Yep. Um, try not to climb over yourself. That's so okay. from here, um, all we're going to do is someone will be basically on the floor. Mm -hmm. From here, someone, uh, in this case yourself, yep. you would grab my foot. Yep. And the idea is that you push it to walk away from yourself. That's yep. it. Hold it for five. One, two. Five, push again. One, two, three, five. Relax and push again. One, two, three, four, five. And that's it. Okay. Cool. And then obviously we just do that either side. Yep. Obviously, if you just let us know when you're not overstretching. Yep. All right. So we don't want to pull anything. Just want to make sure you're safe. Uh, which leg? Yeah, like? Maybe this leg. This one. Okie dokie. All right, so in terms of uh, the session itself, mm -hmm. it's gonna be obviously 45 minutes in total. That does include the warm up. Yeah. Um, but in terms of like what we're gonna be doing, I just wanna make sure that you understand exactly what okay. the pace is. So uh, we've got eight exercises in total. Uh, it's gonna be sumo squats, yep. side lunges, shoulder taps, mm -hmm. Superman, uh, wide grip push up, tricep dips, push-ups mm -hmm. and then we got the plank so each exercise is going to have three sets okay within each set you have 12 repetitions yep and then the tempos in other words the time that you're doing the exercise mm -hmm. or the flow of it will be two seconds two seconds yep. so in other words a tempo of two two okay so let's say for example you were to do a uh, bicep curl for instance uh, it'd be a case of just going from here start one, two, yep. one, two. Okay. So push up would be one, two, one, okay. two. All right. Um, so what we're going to start off first is actually a sumo squat. Okay. Yep. So sumo squat. We'll put that here. Um, it's pretty it's very similar to what you were doing before for a warm up. It's just your feet are going to be wider. Okay. All right. So with that, your feet are naturally going to tend to point out. Okay. That doesn't matter. Yep. Okay. So all I wanted to do is just get your feet wide. And then from here, all you are then doing is just bring it forward. Yeah. So what you want to do is really engage that core. You're going to feel it in your hips, yeah. but that's what we want to work on. Because yeah. you want to really focus on bringing it out. Because you want to work on the muscles here, especially yeah. with the knock knees that we had before. Yeah. Uh, through the pre-screening. With those knock knees, you don't want them going out. You really want to strengthen them here. Okay. That's the point. So with this, my knees aren't going out, but with where you are, potentially you'd be looking at this. Okay. You want to work on bringing them out. Yep. All right. So it's just a tempo of two, two. Okay. All right. We'll start that for you. And when you're ready, then engage your core. And then you go. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Perfect. Breathe throughout. One more. All right. 
how'd that feel? How'd that feel, so bad? Yeah. <laughs> Good? Yeah. But then that means that we're working the right area. Yeah, so yeah. So that's It'll always help. a spot. Yeah. Uh, right, so yeah, we've got 50 seconds now just to chill. So grab yourself a drink if you need it. Might do, before the birds steal it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, I recently realised we haven't got anything good. No. Don't break it, I just showed it off. We're having a barbecue one. Had the sausages on the plate. Took a bit of food and scrapped it. So good. <laughs> Alright, three, two, one. Heels as you're coming down, you'll really start to feel it more in your thigh area. That's it. You're over halfway now. Two more. Lovely. All right, great time. That actually feels really good. No, good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's the more, it, it's the, don't get me wrong, obviously squats will work, same as lunges, but yep. sumo squat, because you're spreading yourself out further, mm. you're actually going to be working more of the adductors, which yeah. is what we want to look at. Yeah. It's an example of one of the ones we want to look at, and include that, you want to work on flexibility. Yeah. So that's one of the uh, exercises that we'll cover. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know, I am facing this so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Good job you made me put my sunscreen on before we came out. <laughs> <laughs> Still don't even think about sort of stuff. Oh, it's not that thing. Three, two, yeah. and go. Alright, last set. Perfect. Okay, so we'll still stay in this area. Yep. Uh, next one I want you to do is a side lunge. Okay. But I want you to alternate. Yep. All right. So from here, what you would pretty much do is, well, you need to face the camera. Yep. Uh, from here, you want to engage the core, but you want to almost sidestep. Yep. So from here, you're lunging. Mm -hmm. Keep it down. Lift up. Bring it in. Mm -hmm. The idea is to try and keep your feet facing forward. Okay. All right. So from here, it does. It will happen now and again. If they're going to move out, that's fine. I just want you to have a tempo of basically two, two. Yep. So you have one, two, one, two. Okay. All right. Yep. So when you go both sides, that's one rep. Okay. Okay. Not too far away. No, no, not too. All right. When you're ready. Side. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. All right, grab yourself a drink. Yeah. Just remember to keep yourself hydrated you. throughout. That's all right. Definitely sound like 
Nearly time. Hey, you got 15. I've got 15 got seconds. 15. What a gift. Is that right? <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, and go. So remember that tempo, two, two. engaged around you can. Keep moving. <laughs> right. There you go. Bigger side on one side. No. Yeah, it's noticeable, but it's one of those ones where you still you've still got the right technique though. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. Yeah. And do you feel as if you're working your adductors as well then as your sides? Definitely, yeah. yeah. Yep. Brilliant, that's what you want. Well I would definitely suggest for next time, we've got plenty of time to go over it. Um, yep. but with the sumo as well. When you're coming on the side, yep. you really just want to keep keep your glutes engaged yep. as you're coming down, because then you're really focusing on that area. Yep. All right. You were doing it before, but just to basically just keep it up. Just That's remember, all. yeah. All right. Oh, there's another round of these, isn't there? <laughs> uh, what, uh, all right. You got about uh, half a minute. Get better and better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Perfect. All right. So, what we might do, I bring that Come this side. Yeah, we'll bring you on that side just yep. for now. Yep. No big deal. Um, so, this one's now shoulder taps. All right. Okay. So, do you want your towel here? Uh, yeah, please. Yeah, that's yep. right. So, how I be seen? Yeah, just about. You're basically off, oh, right? So, okay. it should be alright. Sure? Yeah. Alright. Um, so, for this one, it's just shoulder taps. Yep. So, really, really straight forward. So, you get your towel uh, comfortable, and then from here, all you're going to do is just pull get yourself in a press up position. Yep. So, engage the core, and all you need to do is just tap your shoulders with the uh, adjacent arm. So, for example, if you're going up to your left, you want to tap with your right tap your right and use your left hand. Mm -hmm. What I don't want you to do is to swing okay. like this. So I see some people do this. Mm -hmm. 
you're not really working the shoulders, you're more just kind of dancing. So to avoid that, all you need to do is engage the core, even if you have to look up, just look yep. up, and then keep yourself straight. Okay. All right, so when you do one, two, one, two, all right, yep. that is one more. find it easier to spread your legs out a little bit more then by all means do it as long as you're engaging that core then you'll be okay all right you are halfway Two more. You're done. <laughs> All right, so break time. Yeah, thank you. That's all right. How was that one? Fun. Yeah. Really fun. Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> Ten seconds. Okay. Can't blame you. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Sit. Body weight stuff, is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah definitely, it's definitely good to work on. Yeah, I know that. Probably something to do Go. Smashed it. Smashed it. Do you want to stay here or do you want to move? Stay here. Um, all right. So, what we got next? 
Ah, oh, Superman's. Oh, All right. Do it. Maybe they're on the concrete, is that all right? Yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's all good. No, 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 that's absolutely fine. Elbows tucked in, shoulders back, and you want to look at the ground first. Yep. And then from here, lift up, hold it for two. Yep. Come back down. Lift up, hold it for two. Come back down. Okay. Nice. All right. Then we'll just do twelve of those, please. Yep. Three sets of twelve. <laughs> you said that with too much pleasure. I really did. <laughs> Breathe out when you're coming up. You really want to feel it in your lower back. That's it. Two more. Lovely. Oh, thank you. That's all right. <laughs> It's actually nice, right? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I feel like it's just three minutes. Yeah. Well, that's here. I wouldn't want to do it this time of year. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's still warm enough. Oh, yeah, winter in England. Yeah, yeah. Does anyone do that? I'll see some people do it. Only when you're close to it.
ball. Spot on. Excellent. That technique is brilliant throughout. Really, really good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what we're now going to do, um, we're going to do uh, push-ups now, mm -hmm. but it's wide grip. Mm -hmm. I want to be working on the chest. Yep. Um, so with that, it's it's up to you what you're comfortable with. I'm happy to move the camera as well. Yeah. Um, all we need to do for now is from here. So this is a normal chest press, roughly shoulder width apart. Yep. Push-up. Um, what I want you to do though actually have your hands further away yep and then from here all we need to do is engage the core yep keep the core engaged and then from here bring it down yep and then one that for a tempo of two two so what i mean by that just to show you that keep it down one two yep one two all right we will be doing shoulder width apart push okay. up Yep. Uh, later, okay. but at the moment I just wanted to do wide. Could I do it on an explain or not? You can do that if you want. Yeah. Certainly. Okay. Yep. Um, if I go to maybe this side and put the camera over there maybe, is that right? Yeah, so what I might do is swap that. Yeah. Okay, yep. All right, you're halfway. Don't forget to breathe on the way down, that's it. So if they're on an incline, really engage that core and then try and squeeze that chest as you come down. That's it. What was that it? Yep. yep. <laughs> All right. <sighs> I look way than normal. <laughs> Make it easy for yourself. Let me grab the drink for yourself yeah, and you yeah. can probably bring that over then. Let me know when. Yeah, you got a little while yet. Good. I think I'm very Scottish right now. What, t shirt and shorts? <laughs> I reckon. <laughs> Oh, they're so happy. Yo. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> All right, five, four, three, two, one, and go. That's it. Really think about that tempo. Two down, two up. That's it. Well done. That's great core engagement. There you go. I can already see those shoulder blades are really together. You can really see that you're popping out your chest towards the bench. That's exactly what you want to see. That's it. If you have to readjust, do it. You're halfway. All right, see so if we can get one more in. Yeah, I think that's that's it. it. No, we're all good. That is fine. That's absolutely fine. All right, we'll be on 25. Yep, so definitely suggesting the incline was a good idea, 100%. Yep. So that, that's always an alternative yep. with, with push-ups. Um, yeah, um, so with that, you've always got an alternative. So you, you've obviously suggested the incline, that's great. Yep. Uh, decline is another one as well, but I'd probably suggest that when you're more comfortable with just a normal push-up, yep. or in this case, a wide grip. Yep. Um, so yeah, basically what you've done now is spot on. Okay. And that's, that's where we're up to, and that's absolutely fine. Awesome long as we're engaging uh, in this case your core yep. you're definitely working your chest but i can see you definitely are and obviously with that will be your biceps as well yep. um that's what you want to be looking into yep. all right
Everything feels engaged. Good. <laughs> All right, five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's go, last set. That's all right. Keep going. Smashed it. There you go. Well done. Great job. All right. So let's see what we're up to here. All right. Tricep dips. So um, with that, we've got options. Yep. So I'll bring you in here. So we've got options, it's entirely up to you. Yep. So with a tricep dip, we can either have it, which I will explain to you and show you soon, but yep. it's either where your legs are out straight mm -hmm. or you have it where your legs are out at 90 degrees. Okay. 90 degrees, I would probably just recommend for now, yep. just because I don't need to overexert those muscles. Yep. Uh, the idea is to train them, but not to a point where you're gonna hurt yourself. Yeah. So I just yep. want to be safe. Um, so what I recommend for now is if we can get that, so that's me. Yeah, that's perfect. All right, so we've got a bench here. Yep. Um, it's very similar to what you're doing in the indoor. Yep. But all I want you to do here is you can either have it where your legs are out flat or mm -hmm. straight, keep them together. And from here, what you want to do is just drop it so that your elbows are bent. Yep. Roughly 90 degrees. Okay. Don't do it where your elbows are above the shoulders. Yeah. Because that will end up, it's already putting a strain on my shoulders. That's yep. you don't want to be doing that because you'll hurt yourself. So from here, all you do is just bring it down where you can really feel the tension in the triceps and then bring it up. Yep. That's one way. Okay. Another way as an alternative is where you have your legs bent at 90 degrees, and then from here all you're doing is pressing. So yep. it's the same same motion. One, two, one, two, mm -hmm. exactly the same motion. It's just that you've got more control because your legs are closer yep. to your torso. Okay. All right. Sweet. So we'll give that a go. Yep. Wonderful. All right. No, no, no troubles. Always keep yourself out, especially when we're outside. Yeah. Uh, it's, maybe it's winter time, but still, yeah. it's bright blue skies. Like, definitely keep yourself hydrated. Keep yourself as cool as you can. Mm -hmm. In the summer, it will definitely be a problem. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. So yeah, breathe on the way up. Breathe out on the way up, breathe in on the way down. Over halfway. Exercise 
Always takes longer to set up. Yeah, definitely. Uh, all right, so we got okay. uh, just short of, um, we've got 20 seconds okay. to go, so we've got more than enough time. Cool. Um, just to give you an idea, we're literally two exercises now away from the end. Okay. Um, so then after this, it'll be push ups and there'll be a plank for as long as you can hold. Okay, sounds great. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. One more. Lovely. Eight. <laughs> All right, so now we've just done pretty much the back of the arm yep. with the tricep. We're actually going to go back to the front again. Okay. Um, but rather than doing wide grip, mm -hmm. we're just going to do a standard push up. Okay. All right, so with the arms this time, they're just going to be shoulder width apart. Yep. Uh, now with press ups, very much like what you suggested earlier, yep. um, you can do an incline if you want. Yep. Uh, if you're more comfortable with that, you can also do a decline, so basically the opposite of what you did earlier. Yeah. Uh, at the same time though, you might be comfortable with just having it as normal. Uh, now with that, what we classify as just on the floor, or standard push up, your legs are, sh uh, your, sorry, not your legs, your shoulders are shoulder width apart. Mm -hmm. uh, with your arms of course from here, engage the core, and then what you want to do is just bring yourself with a two, two tempo. Yep. So one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two. Now, I'm comfortable with that, but yep. as an alternative, if you wanted to, you can basically get your knees bent so that your legs are roughly at 90 degrees, mm -hmm. still engage that core, but from here, what you can then do is press yourself down. Mm -hmm. One, two. Yep. One, two, one, two, one, two. It's an option that you've got. Yeah. Right. Is it okay if I do the incline again? Hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. No okay. troubles. Let's do that. You just let me know when you're ready. Uh. Yep. And go. So it's just a normal push up this time. That's it. So you want that core engaged, really squeeze that chest as you come down. Just remember the tempo, one, two, one, two, that's it. See if we can get a 10. Ooh, yeah, all right, that's all good, that's all right. Is it all right if I go up to that one? Yeah, sound, no, <laughs> no troubles okay. at all. That's all right. So what we can then do is if we have that here. So yeah. we're still on break. That's fine. So yeah, we've got 45. Yeah. Um, we'll just adjust that mm. here. There we go. Uh, but yeah, no, that is entirely awesome. fine. No trouble at all. We'll get this out of the way. At the end of the day, it's an alternative that yep. you can be provided with, but it's what you're comfortable with. Yeah. And then the point of it being then is that you then know and over time, through the program that we have, we yeah. can then progress it. Yeah. So we can slowly bring you down, in other words. Because awesome. some people like myself, when I had a, a rotator cuff injury, yep. I actually started from a wall. Yep. Straight up wall, and then slowly went down to incline. Yep. Then that incline just got smaller and smaller and smaller until it was the ground. So yep. it is possible. Definitely okay, is cool. possible. Love to get to the ground. <laughs> All right. Five more seconds. Right. Four, three. Two, one, and go. There we go, that's it. That's it, so you really want to engage that uh, core, obviously, as you're doing, but really make sure you're squeezing that chest. Four. Halfway. Get two more. Let's go two more. One more. You got this. One more. Yes. Ooh. There you go. Two. Brilliant. And then pretty much you have one more set. Yes. It's then plank. 
We then call him down. That's it. All right. Mentis. Yes. <laughs> That tempo. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two. You're halfway. Nine, ten, two more. Let's go. One, two, one, two. Twelve. Smashed it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that'll be fine. All right, so next one now is just plank. I just wanted to try and hold it for as long as you can. If you hold it for a minute, fab. Uh, but at the same time, it's a target. It's yep. not necessarily, you have to do this, awesome. all right? Um, so with a standard plank, you're not doing a side plank. I just want you to do a standard plank. So all we're doing here is you're gonna have your arms at 90 degrees. So yep. you're basically your forearms are gonna be directly on the ground. Um, good idea to have the towel here, 100%. From here, and then get your legs out. Don't have your bum up. Okay. If your bum is up, you're not actually engaging the core. So what you want to do is basically bring your hips down, or you like rotate your pelvis basically. From here, engage that core, yep. and you can look up if you feel comfortable with that. If not, you can just obviously look down for now. Now this is one alternative. The other one is that you have your feet further apart. Okay. So have one foot here, one foot here, still engaged. Yep. That's an option for you. Another option if you were uh, struggling is that you can still keep that core engaged with your knees on the ground, okay. but that's an alternative. We prefer it if the knees were up, yep. but at the same time, if you feel that you want to bring it down, you can, but really work on that core, really okay. work on engaging it. Alrighty. Alright, okay, so five, four, three, two, one, let's see how we go. So that's fine. So always remember just to breathe throughout, in through the nose, out through the mouth. So that's the um, that's the warm up and the session now done. Yep. But obviously, I still don't want you to uh, have an injury post workout. So what we're going to do now is what's called a cool down. Okay. All right. Um, so you can definitely keep the towel for yeah. use if you want. It's up to you. Um, what we'll do now is basically you probably remember it from the indoor workout we did. Yep. All I want you to do is a side leg raise. Mm -hmm. So um, with here, what that will mean is that you just have yourself on your side yep all right and then what you want is put your hand on your hip bone you really feel the hip yep and then from here the reason why i've got you doing this is so that you're not lifting up your hip yep i want you just to lift the leg only so okay. from here bring it down bring it down okay. i want you to do 10 of those 
centre those on each side. Yep. All right. And then we'll move on to some stretches. Okay. Switch. So, um, all right, so next one we're just going to do are uh, very similar to the warm up. We're yep. just going to do a calf, uh, a shoulder stretch, and a hamstring stretch. Okay. All right. Um, so, with the calf, all we need to do uh, is very much what we're doing for the warm up. So, just one foot in front of the other. Yep. Okay. From here, all we need to do is just lean, or oh, sorry, bend one knee mm -hmm. forward. So, at the same time, keep your back leg straight and really focus on bringing that heel in, okay? Yep. And then when you've done 10 seconds of that, which I will time, yep. uh, I just want you then to swap legs. Okay. Lovely. Okie dokie. So we'll do a, a PNF um, hamstring. Yep. So very much what we're doing before. So you remember the fact that one leg will be up and then just gently push, hold yep. for five, relax, hold for five, relax, hold for five. Okay. All right, you happy with that? Yeah. Brilliant. All right. Perfect. Awesome. Alright. Uh, next one now will just be shoulders. Yep. Alright, so we're gonna be repeating what we did in the warm-up, but I'll still show you. Yep. So from here, first one, all I want to do is just have one arm, doesn't matter which one, goes across your body, yep. the other one will then place the hip back towards your chest. Okay. And the idea then is that you try and squeeze this arm yep. using your front forearm. Yep. Right? And you really start to feel forward here. Yeah. Um, so I want you to hold that for 10. Yep. And when we've done 10, I want you to swap. Okay. And swap. All right, so next one that we'll have is still shoulders, but I just wanted to do what yep. we did before. So in other words, one arm goes behind your head. Yep. You then use the other hand, press that on the other elbow, 
and you're trying to bring this hand down your spine. So very much like swinging down your spine here. And I just want you to hold that for 10 seconds. And when you've done that, squat. All right, lovely. And then last uh, one will be a chest PNF. Okay. All right. So what I'm saying, chest PNF, what I mean by that is that uh, in this case, what we would do is that the person being stretched would be on the ground. Yep facing towards. Yeah. From that, the person behind me would gently lean their knee yeah. into my back, so yeah. then it feels like I'm on a chair. Yeah. And then from that, I put my arms out, and yeah. I want you to stretch, hold it for five, allow yeah. me to relax, pull again, hold it for five, allow me to relax, and then pull again. There we go. Yeah. All right, Sweet. so that's the idea. You just let me know how much you want to be stretched, okay? Yeah, you can probably take a little bit further. Yep. Yeah, right. Yeah, I think we've got pretty good. That's the end of the session now. Amazing. Um, so that's 45 minutes worth. I hope you had a good time. Yeah, it was fun. Um, in terms of a review, if you don't mind, I'll get you to basically fill out a session review. Yeah, sure. Um, just to kind of see like, basically what you enjoyed about the session, mm -hmm. um, what do you think I could improve on, yep. maybe uh, just general feedback as well. Yeah. So is there anything from what you've just done now, is there anything on your mind that you might want me to work on maybe in future or maybe implement another exercise rather than another? Um, no, I really enjoyed it. Really? I think I hit everything. Lovely. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. All right.